What is up, y'all? Ah! Man, quick message for y'all, man. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. I don't have any water on me. <laughs> My throat's dry. Um, yeah, man, quick message for y'all. All right. So, today was pretty all right. You know, I finally finished that programming project I had to do. That I was working all weekend to do. I ended up doing it. Uh, got a bit of a, a headache from it. But usually, usually when programs are intense and like I have to like think really hard to um, figure out what's going on and troubleshoot the code and stuff like that, I usually do get a slight headache from it. But yeah, man, I finished it, tested it a bunch of times, a bunch, bunch of times. Looked over the requirements, met every requirement. I literally upload it on Google Drive, try to put it on my laptop just so that I could test it on a different computer. It worked. So we're good with that, man. I finally got that done. Now the message, man. You may get you may go through certain points where you feel like you want to do something, right? And you know guys don't want you to do it. Alright? Might be that one song you want to listen to. Right? Might be wanting to pass down the street of an old friend that you had, you know. Just, just little things like that, you know, might be the peak at that one image, right? Things are gonna try to come that will, you know what I'm saying, you wanna do, but God doesn't want you to do, right? But you're like, man, like I, I can just do it one time, just one time, right? The thing that's telling you to do it that one time is the enemy. The enemy is trying to raise your flesh over your spirit, Right, because your spirit doesn't want to do that stuff. Your, your flesh does, right? Your flesh wants to look and see what your old friends are up to. Um, that guy wrote from your life. Your your flesh wants to listen to that one song because it popped in your head. You're like your flesh does all this, right? So it is important, man. It is important to have the sermon, spirit discernment, and to know when God wants you to do something and when God doesn't. Right, you'll feel it. Your spirit won't like. Your spirit won't like that. You will have a feeling where your spirit just you're like, ah, oh, man, I have to feel my spirit. I don't want to do it. Like, you know, a feeling you have in your spirit, you're gonna get that, right? And that's the discernment they tell you, like, Ugh, I don't feel like God wants me to do this, right? When I made a mistake before, when I was like seeking out my wife early, most early, um, when God obviously didn't want me to, I had that feeling. I was like, Ugh, but maybe, right? I had that same. I had the same issue. Right, you have to um, you have to have a discernment, man, and just know that, and just know that you know God might not want you to do it. So, what? oh, oh, he's in the next. Track. My bad, y'all. Back in the, I had to switch cars. My switch spots with my dad. And I thought he was in the driveway. Well, yeah, man, you want to, uh, have a discernment, man, and just know when it is that God wants you to do something and when he doesn't, right? And, of course, pray about it, right? If you feel like something like, oh, I'm not sure, I should, just pray about it, and God will give you the answer, right? And trust God with everything in life, man. Like, I, I know I say it a lot, and it's pretty obvious, but... You know, there's a lot of times where things happen, right? And you, you're you like, man, this is so stressful. Like, I'm I'm stressing about... Like, you shouldn't stress. God does not give us the power, the, the spirit of fear, but power of love and sound mind. I have a sound mind, right? So, you have nothing to worry about, man. You have nothing to fear, right? It's all about just uh, trusting God, man. And if you follow everything that God tells you to do and not to do, right? Obviously, not doing what he tells you not to do. You'll be all right, man. So that is my message for today, man. A uh, short video. As far as no fap, uh, no urges, no for thoughts. So nothing crazy, man. With that being said, man, I'll catch y'all next one. Your brother Aaron out. Peace.